Hi, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about edible plants and how to identify them. Uh, we've already got an edible plants video up on our YouTube channel. Uh, the quality turned out to be pretty damn bad. So what we're going to do is reshoot that next year uh, or later this spring so that uh, we can get you some nice clear images. But for right now, what I'd like to talk about is identifying some edible plants. And we're going to talk about these books uh, here in just a second. Um, you know, positive identification of plants is the fastest and easiest way for you to get out there and get yourself fed in an emergency or anything like that if you're out in the field. Uh, knowing the plants. And on that subject, these books are the ones that I use to teach my classes with. They are Peterson's Field Guide uh, for Edible Plants, uh, Eastern and Central North America and Peterson's Field Guide for Medicinal Plants for Eastern and Central uh, America. Uh, and that's a central part of the United States and the eastern part. These books also come uh, so that uh, you can buy them for the western United States, eastern and western Canada, Mexico, uh, Europe. Uh, they have them in all kinds of varieties. Uh, but these are the books that I recommend. I teach my classes out of them. Uh, most of the time when you're told in a book how to identify a plant, it gives you measurements, uh, you know, two inch leaves, three inch leaves, that type of stuff. This book even includes a tape measure right here, inches uh, and centimeters, so that you can actually measure uh, the parts of the plant. And this book is small enough that you can fit it in a bug out bag or a backpack. Um, it also comes with plenty of very good quality uh, color photographs of the plants inside of it. And they're real close up, they're very detailed, and I like that. Uh, also over here it gives you the name of the plant, and it gives you a real description of the plant, very detailed. Uh, also as you go on in this material it tells you where to find the plant, how to prepare the plant as a food or as a medicinal remedy. <laughs> they also have very detailed drawings uh, of the plants themselves. Again, more description of where to find it, and how to prepare it. Uh, so, you know, if you need to be looking uh, beside an elm tree or near uh, an open field or dry area or waste area, it's going to tell you that so that it's easier for you to find the plants that you're looking for. Uh, it's also going to tell you which ones are more common in what areas, uh, especially the area that you're in. And I don't see any use in wasting time or money uh, buying books that have uh, descriptions of the uh, Mangongo plant from the Congo. Uh, you, don't, uh, you don't need that. That's not where you're at. So why waste the money on a book that's 50% plants from North Vietnam that you're never going to see? Uh, buy the books that are for the area that you're in or the areas that you perceive you might be in. The same with the Medicinal Guide. Uh, the Medicinal Guide, again, has the same tape measure same very good color pictures, plenty of drawings inside of it, lots lots of description on how to prepare these plants. Um, and that's, that's one of the keys too. A lot of books will tell you where to get it and what it looks like, but they won't tell you how to prepare it as a medicinal remedy. These books will. Um, and remember, some parts of the plants that are edible, uh, you know, you might have a plant that has one part that's edible and other parts that are not. And this plant will tell, or this book will tell you all that about the plants. And of course, there's no substitute for knowing in advance, you know, and, and being having positive identification with uh, with a plant that you're looking for. But this these books will get you there. And they're about 19 bucks. They're available online, but they are a valuable, valuable resource. And there is just a ton of knowledge in this little bitty space that if you had to, if you don't know them. And let's face it, everybody forgets. Uh, if you don't know them by heart, fine, put them in your backpack. Uh, you know, you can take them with you. It's not a lot of weight and space, and it gives you just an awful lot of knowledge that could save your life. Uh, of course, positive identification is the best way with any plant. Uh, you know, uh, there is a field edibility test, a universal field edibility test, and it's very long. Uh, it takes hours to complete. Uh, it's eight steps long. The steps are separation where you take the plant and you separate it into its part, leaves, stems, roots, so on. 
uh, <laughs> and once you get there, you're you're rubbing a little piece on your skin as a contact test. That's the second part. Uh, the third part is a lip test. You're you're rubbing a little on your lip. Um, it just takes forever. It's 15 minutes for the contact test. Uh, you know, in 15 minutes, if there's burning or itching or swelling, after you rub a little bit of it on your skin, you discard that part of the plant. Uh, the same for the lip. Uh, then the the uh, uh, fourth part of the test is taste. You go ahead and put a little bit in your mouth, you taste it, you wait about 15 or 20 minutes, see if any burning, uh, swelling shows up, anything like that. Uh, and if not, then you pop a little of that same piece in your mouth and you chew it up and let it sit in there for about 15 minutes. Uh, if nothing happens in 15 minutes, you swallow that little piece. Uh, that's step six. And if nothing happens in about an hour, uh, then you go ahead and eat a little bit more of it. And then you wait eight hours. You know, and if nothing else happens, you go ahead and assume the, that the plant is safe, and you cook it, and then you eat it, and that's the last step. But that's a lot of work, and we'll go over that in the woods, uh, you know, on our next edible plants video. But in the meantime, think about these books. They're a valuable resource for you. They're going to give you a lot of knowledge, and like I said, for forty, you know, less than forty bucks. Uh, there's just so much in here, and you know, in the wintertime, downtime, when you don't have a lot to do, reading these things and committing them to memory, it's a way to go. You can put a lot of knowledge in your head that may save your life one day. Thanks a lot for watching.